Doomfight Pauldron is incredibly fun. It turns Sentinel, an otherwise underwhelming sweeper, into an incredibly powerful and enjoyable ability. Its exotic perk Horns of Doom states, Void melee kills give super energy. While Sentinel Shield is active, melee kills recharge shield throw, which extends your super on hits. More accurately, powered void melee kills will grant you 20% super energy once per usage in PvE. It grants 10% super energy once per usage in PvP. Once per usage means that no matter how many kills you get with a single ability, you'll only receive the super energy once. Sentinel Shield Throw hits regenerate 10% super energy for every target struck. It's as strong as it sounds. The exotic specializes in clearing large groups of enemies quickly and efficiently, while increasing the uptime of Sentinel. There's only really one way to build into this exotic, and that is to build into regenerating your melee ability as fast as possible, in order to recharge your super ability as fast as possible. There are two main ways to do so. The first is using the kinetic exotic auto rifle, Monte Carlo. Its first exotic perk, Monte Carlo method states, Dealing damage with this weapon reduces your melee cooldown and grants a chance to fully recharge your melee ability with each kill. The melee cooldown reduction seems to be relative to the amount of damage dealt, regardless it is a notable reduction. Kills seem to have a 50% chance of granting your melee ability back, although I cannot say for sure. Its second exotic perk, Markov Chain states, This weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon. Melee kills grant ammo for this weapon. Markov Chain acts like an enhanced version of Swashbuckler, married with Grave Robber. Its empowering values for PvE are as follows. 13% at 1 stack, 26% at 2 stacks, 39% at 3 stacks, 52% at 4 stacks, and 65% at 5 stacks. Its empowering values for PvP are as follows. 6.6% at 1 stack, 13.2% at 2 stacks, 20% at 3 stacks, 26.4% at 4 stacks, and 33% at 5 stacks. The other option is to utilize the Pugilist trait, which states that final blows with this weapon generate melee energy. Dealing melee damage briefly improves this weapon's handling. More accurately, primary and power weapons will grant you 10% of your melee energy per kill. Special weapons will grant you 20%. Dealing any sort of melee damage will grant you 35 handling for 3 seconds. Ideally, you should use either Swashbuckler or while swinging alongside it. Swashbuckler grants a stacking empowering buff from kills, with melee kills granting the highest empowering buff. Its empowering values for PvP and PvE are 6.6% at 1 stack, 13.2% at 2 stacks, 20% at 3 stacks, 26.4% at 4 stacks, and 33.3% at 5 stacks. Wellspring grants 8% ability energy per kill that is split equally across all uncharged abilities. Ideally, this reduces the total kills needed with primary or power weapons to 6 kills down from 10 or 4 kills with a special weapon to generate your melee ability in the best case scenario. But realistically, you are better off with Swashbuckler to improve the damage of your ISIL. Although this option does not require your exotic slot, it is also much less effective than using Monte Carlo. Regardless, the next way to improve the regeneration of your melee ability is combat bots. Mainly heavy handed, which at the cost of one charge of light stack will grant half of our melee ability energy back. The easiest way to become charged with light in this case is to use melee well maker to spawn an elemental well that matches our surplus energy, and elemental charge to convert that elemental one into two stacks of charge with light as the elemental well reproduced matches our surplus energy. I would also advise using supercharge to increase the maximum stacks of charge with light from two to four. And so instead of having to regenerate your entire melee ability, you only have to worry about regenerating half of it. This can be done in 5 kills with a primary weapon or 3 kills with a special weapon. But if you're using Wellspring, that can be reduced to 3 kills on a primary and 2 kills on a special, assuming your other abilities are recharged. Okay, with melee regeneration out of the way, there is one more way to improve their super regeneration even more, and that is by using the hands-on armor mod. By equipping 2 copies, you can gain more super energy per shield throw kill, and unlike Horns of Doom, it is not limited to 1 kill per melee ability. For every low tier or red bar enemy kill, you will regain 1.71%. For every mid tier or orange bar enemy kill, you regain 3.1%. Every high tier or yellow bar enemy kill, you regain 5.58%. And for every elite or higher tier enemy, you regain 10%. Keep in mind that hands on does not work in PvP. Alright, now you know how to cycle your melee ability and convert it into super energy effective. What abilities should you use? For your aspects, use Controlled Demolitionist and Offensive Bulwark. Controlled Demolitionist will grant all of your abilities the ability to apply the Volatile Debuff, which causes targets to explode if they take enough damage. Any targets that are killed by the explosions of a melee ability count as a melee ability kill. 
Offensive Bulwark makes use of the Overshield you get from any melee ability kill and uses it to empower your abilities further by granting increased grenade range duration and improved melee damage and range while also increasing the duration of the Overshield on melee kills. For your fragments, use Echo of Leeching to start health regeneration on melee kills and Echo of Expulsion to add an extra boom to your ability kills. The rest is completely up to you. For PvE, I'd advise using Sentinel Shield as it is by far the more enjoyable super and can extend itself through Horns of Doom. You could also swap to Ursa Furiosa after charging your super to convert your Sentinel Shield into a supportive super instead, granting your allies the highest empowering buff of 40% and regaining up to half of your supercharge back in the process. Then just simply swap back to Doomfang to recharge the rest of it, and boom, you've turned your super from a combat clearing ability to a team supporting ability. For your melee ability, you should use Shield Throw if possible as I find it to be the more powerful ability for clearing areas and securing locations. But if you find it not dealing enough damage, you can always swap to Shoulder Bash and use a 1-2 punch stomp gun alongside it to clear all types of enemies, big or small. For PvP, I'd advise using Doomfang as a passive exotic to recharge your Ward of Dawn faster. As it currently stands, Sentinel takes too long to recharge out of 6v6 game modes, but do as you please. For your melee ability, I would recommend using Shield Bash alongside a lightweight shotgun to make use of the higher mobility and turn the downside of being a less effective frame for one-shotting into an upside, as you want to be getting kills with your melee ability. Or you could use a Slug Shotgun to grant yourself the chance of one-shotting opponents that are too far away and weakening the ones that you believe you can finish off with a melee. Currently, I find that Shield Throw is extremely underwhelming and unreliable in PvP. It can sometimes deal 60 damage or 73 damage per throw, seemingly without reason, but if you find it to be more effective or more enjoyable, then be my guest. Regardless, you will notice that you will gain your super ability far faster than anyone else as long as you are able to secure a few melee kills. And that's about it. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later.